hello you guys how are you guys doing i hope you're doing amazing thank you so much for clicking into this video if it is your first time to be here my name is freshia and welcome to the dream team family please consider subscribing down below if you have not also remember to turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload videos like this so today we are back with another video with mr eddie thank you so much how for are you inviting me again mm -hmm. it is it has been a, a good uh, honor to come back today thank you so much for yes. also making time to scrap and uh, appear on our videos today today as you can read from the title i want mr edwin to take us through uh how to get a car in qatar the requirements the documents needed the rules and regulations everything needed that you need to know uh, so stick around as you can see we are here at the at, at an outdoor space yeah. uh, this is his car by the way and yeah. uh, so he has all the information that you guys want to know so stick around until the end of the video and you'll get all the information that you want to hear so thank you for bringing me here also thank you driving so much. me thank you for being my chauffeur oh, for today I'm, I'm, oh I'm my chauffeur, I'm chauffeur. i believe now i'm starting to get really <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And so today I want you to take us through the the what we need to know. Like right now I do not have a car for some reason, yeah. right? And you are in that position yes. some time back, some yeah. years back. Yeah. So can you tell us now what did you achieve for you to get the car? Okay, first of all we have to start with basic. Okay, yeah. One thing first, you need to have a Qatar ID. Mm -hmm. So it's you can't buy a car in Qatar if yeah. you don't have a Qatar ID. Okay. That's the first thing you have to make sure you have mm. valid Qatar ID, mm -hmm. probably 63 to 4 months of still validity. Oh, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. that is number one. Yeah. The next thing, you need to have a driving license. Mm. You can't buy a car mm. without a driving license. Okay. So you need to arrange yourself mm. and go to a driving school. Mm -hmm. uh, the two, uh, two types of uh, driving courses that they offer. Okay. They offer, let's say for example, if you have a driving license from Kenya or from Uganda or from the US, mm -hmm. you can come with your license mm -hmm. and do a half course. Okay. So they do a half course. Mm. You pay, yeah, it's, a, it's slightly expensive. Mm. So you can do either half course or a full course. Yeah. In my case, I did a half course VIP. Okay. So that again, means? So that means mm -hmm. that you will pay extra mm -hmm. and then you, your test will be faster mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and you will get faster. your license mm. with, uh, within one month. Oh, okay. And yeah. if you don't pay for the VIP, how long so, will it take? you have to <laughs> wait for the waiting list there is a waiting list oh, okay. and the waiting list is usually not good mm -hmm. you have to wait sometime three months six months even guys go up to eight months what yes uh -huh. for waiting list mm. just to get a chance to do the test to do the test wow that's a long time the two tests mm -hmm. is one for computer test mm -hmm. you go and they will show you a computer and then you will have to fill in the the signs, the road signs, and some uh, the laws okay. of Qatar. That's the first test. Yes, you mm. pass that one, and then you go to the road test. Mm. The road test there are usually three: there is road, there is L parking, mm -hmm. and there is P parking. Mm -hmm. So you do your L parking, you do your P parking, you do your road test, yeah. and then you get your license. Okay. After you get your license. Now you have your license. Now you have your license. Mm. Now is your next step now to get a car. Oh, okay, yeah. So after you have those two documents, mm. and one one of it is this is the Qatar ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this yeah. is the ID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now this is the license. Oh, this is the Qatar yes. the license. Yes. Okay. So once you you, you get the Qatar ID and the license, mm -hmm. then now you have to start looking for cars. Yeah. If you get a car, mm. it varies. Mm -hmm. You can buy a new car. Mm. You can buy it through financing. Okay. You can either buy uh, through fast cash. Mm -hmm. You can either buy it on uh, not not fast fast finance, mm. or you can buy it on uh, on cash basis. Okay. So what are the first two? So first two. Mm. One, you can go to your bank. Yeah. And tell them I want a car, mm. and then you can get a car loan. Mm -hmm. Two, mm. you can go to a, a a financial institution. They call it. Uh, it's like a it's like a loaner, mm -hmm. but they are called fa fast finance. They yeah. finance you to buy a car, mm. you and pay then the loan. you'll be paying uh, in lump sum, in different lump sum, maybe for one year or two years, mm -hmm. depending on the prices of the car. Yeah. So again, you cannot go and buy a car which is more expensive, mm. which you can't manage. So they yeah. will also they will guide you one or two things. Okay. Now you've bought a car. Mm. The car that you've bought mm. has to be taken for inspection okay whether new mm. or old okay i have a question before we get to that yeah, yeah. when i have uh, before i buy the car yeah. 
Is there someone or maybe the government checking how much do I earn or anything? No, or as long no, as I have no, the no, no, no. driving license and as the As long as you have the Qatar driving ID. license, the Qatar ID, mm. if you have money in your bank, yeah. if you have money anywhere, maybe you under your mattress, yeah. <laughs> just as long as you have the money. And buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there is not that much of uh, checking, uh, like the like, government yeah. will check you, how are you uh -huh. buying a car. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, so now you got the car. Yes, after you got uh, the car, mm. the car has to be inspected. Mm -hmm. Like the car is still new, it's still in the showroom. Mm. The car is second hand. Mm -hmm. It has to be inspected by by the government, okay. so that you can be given the car can be written under your name now. Oh, okay. So there is inspection. Mm. That's the inspection, you, do we pay? Yes, mm. you pay. It, it depends with the value of the car. Of so the value yeah, of the car. Time, okay. It, goes uh, depending from 150 reals mm. up on up and forth back okay. and forth it depends mm -hmm. so and that you'll hear people say istimara istimara most of the time yeah what's that so istimara is mm. oh this is istimara what is this so that shows that uh, the cars is yours it belongs to you it belongs to you mm -hmm. it is insured mm. and it is uh, valid for a year so you wait valid for a year yes and then after a year? So every year mm. you have to take your car for inspection again Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh -huh. that, that is what is called it's Istimara. So also it's from the government, I can see yes, the state it, of Qatar. Yeah, it's from the government. So it says uh, your name, mm. your ID, where you're from, yeah. and the dead So like, I've just renewed my last month, mm. and uh, I took it and then it got renewed. Okay. You can take for inspection, you can either take it by yourself, mm -hmm. or you can give your friend to, to go. Take it for yeah, you. there are some guys who it's okay. yeah, just give them, and mm. then give them some small money, mm. like 100 or 200 reals. Yeah. They'll do everything for they you. They go with the previous card. Yeah, they'll go with the previous card and mm -hmm. they'll go with all the information. The car has ah. to be, has to have a fire extinguisher, mm -hmm. has to be very fit, uh, fit mm -hmm. has to be nice, mm -hmm. not, no scratches, no accident. Mm -hmm. And then they'll put you all the reports. You'll get a uh, car. You'll get approved. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So you have to pay all together. Okay. The insurance mm -hmm. and the government inspection. Mm. Okay. Uh, around how much is the insurance? Like from so what? It varies. Do they Again, it varies with the value of the car. Mm -hmm. Like mine, I paid five hundred real. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. 500 a year mm. for a year for my insurance. Per year? Yeah. There's so you'll people... pay again next year? Yeah, I'll pay again next year for mm. another, five, uh, another 700. Mm. That means, let's say, for example, with the, with the, with the inspection, yeah, yeah. Mm. with the, let's say, for example, if there's some minor areas that they want me to go and fix, mm. they'll they bring the back, car back to me. They will not fix renew. It. Oh, really? Fix it, then and I, then I, take yes, it back. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's that strict. So mm. if your car doesn't pass, mm. you're not allowed to drive it on the road. Okay. Yeah. So now you have uh, passed the inspection. Yes. Now you can drive freely. Now you can freely. drive anywhere. If you want to go to Saudi, if you mm -hmm. want to go anywhere. Seriously? Yes. You can so drive basically anywhere. that's just what we need to get a car. Yes. You know, I used to think maybe I need to have some amount of salary. No. You know, I need to, to, to be having like 5,000 going up or 10,000. Mm. So it's that cheap. If you can manage, mm -hmm. no problem. You mm. can be able to take yeah and that would be yours okay yeah. and uh, how, how is the like now that you have a car mm. how is the price of fuel or something is it affordable is it too so high? it depends with the car the okay. funny thing here mm. Mm. diesel is more expensive mm. well where our place diesel is it's cheaper. More cheaper yeah mm. so diesel is more expensive because more cars mm. are using petrol mm -hmm. premium and regular yeah so so the, if you're using regular, mm. it's a little bit slightly cheaper and the regular is a little bit higher. Yeah. So it ranges between 1.9 mm -hmm. to 2 reals a litre. Oh, okay. And diesel go to almost 2.5. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it varies. Every every month, mm. the Energy Regulatory Commission mm. usually updates each and every month. Oh, okay. So the price of fuel. Oh, they keep changing. Yes, yes uh. it's not constant. Yeah. So like this month, you might buy fuel at... Every uh, month? Yes. Wow. This uh -huh. month, you might buy at 1.9. Mm. Next month, 2. Okay. The other month, 1.8. Uh. 1.5. So it, it varies. It keeps varying. Yeah, it's not constant. Okay. Yeah. So that is interesting. You know, uh, I, I would want us to tell us um, how, how is it like driving in Qatar? Uh, which side do you use? Uh. Like, uh, how, how is it? How are the roads? How is your experience compared to that you have ever driven in uh, Kenya back in your country? Yes. How is it? I, I, I am experienced from Kenya mm -hmm. because I drive back home. Yeah. To have a car here, mm. it's convenience, mm -hmm. one thing, mm. because uh, it's not like back home where you can just go to 
you know, and we'll buy something, you know, just yeah, across the road. Just across the road yeah, you yeah. Have, if you not, need something, you have to go to the mall, mm -hmm. you have to go to the city center, yeah. or to go somewhere, you have to travel, there's a distance. Mm -hmm. So, the biggest challenge is traffic cameras. Uh, yeah. And once you cross that traffic cameras, mm -hmm. it takes your picture mm -hmm. of your license mm -hmm. plate, and within like you two, have, 10 minutes, uh -huh. you receive a message that you have a, a violation. Uh, violations like uh, over speeding. Yes. Uh, so there is over speeding. Uh -huh. There's areas which you are not supposed to overtake. There are some areas which you are not supposed. If you cross the red light, uh -huh. just leave it. Really, just continue going. Because because you're already charged. You've already been charged, <laughs> and it's the most expensive. Oh really? It's, How bad uh, is it? Six thousand, almost roughly seven thousand. If what? you cross that LED, red light, <laughs> 7,000. Really? Yeah. Just one time? Yes. And no discussion. But the good thing is, mm -hmm. if you are over speeding, mm. the, usual, the government usually offers some, uh, what do they call it? Uh, like they cut the price. Let's say, for example, if it's 600, you only pay 300 before the, uh, the one month. Mm. You pay half. Price. You can pay half, half. Yes, so as long the, as gover the, the government has subsidized. Oh, okay. Mm. If uh, the picture was uh, for six hundred, you mm. pay three hundred. If, mm -hmm. if you do two cameras for all the have, violations, yeah, half. Mm -hmm. But uh, red light, mm -hmm. no. If it's no violation. No. On the spot. Yes. Or they keep your car, or they will confiscate. You will stay here, but mm -hmm. you can't leave because once you leave mm -hmm. the airport, mm -hmm. they will check that they you have a violation. Same, yeah. And here you can't you can't hide away from any violation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So uh, do you when you go to to the school to, yeah. to, to the for classes, yeah. you get to learn all these violations, yeah. right? Yeah. The that's, that's, the, that's the computer part. Oh, the computer part. Yes, okay. the computer training part. That's mm. what you run. Like the, the theory laws. thing. Yes, you mm. learn the laws. You, but you still have a driver, co driver who is training you and mm. telling you the laws of the road, the rules and regulation. Mm. Because here we drive on the left. Yeah. And in other areas, they drive on the right. So like in, in our country? Yes, yes. We drive on the right. Yes. Okay. So is it so hard for you to adjust? Like, no, no. When no, you no, go no. back to Kenya, do no. you drive like normally? <laughs> Is no, this no, a, but, but on the first day, I usually, uh, I, this one day I had uh, like a, you are a reset. Yeah, yeah. I, I almost drive on the other side of the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're used to, to, to yeah, that yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. so for this video, I wanted you to take us through all those details. Thank you. And I don't want us to mix them with other details. Ah, wow. But I would also want you to take us through how to get a car, how to buy a car, where, which places can we buy, what options do we have. Yeah. But I want us to do that in another video. Wow. So nice. I want us to end this video here. And thank you guys for watching uh, this video. Kindly subscribe. Kindly subscribe. Yeah. You we have heard all need, the information. We need, we need to reach uh, Fresh Air to 20,000, 30,000 subscribers. He said it. He said everything. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that is all that I wanted to share for today. And then we'll have another video coming up right yes. after this one for where we where Edwin will be taking us through how to buy a car, where to get, yes. how are, how much are they. So also Edwin is also a YouTuber like me. Uh, he just started his YouTube channel and he's having good information around there. Yeah. He's taking you to places. I would want you guys to go there, subscribe, and tell him you came from Fresh Air. Okay. So uh, please take us through your your YouTube channel so name. My YouTube channel is just my name, Edwin Kidula. Can Edwin Kidula. Subscribe. I'm a travel. It's there, down here on the there. screen. Okay. <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel as you subscribe to her YouTube, yes, YouTube channel. Yes, please go We and usually subscribe. give a lot of uh, effort and a lot of time yeah. to give you this content. Mm -mm. The only thing you can do is to subscribe. Yes. So subscribe down here for my channel and also go to Kidula's channel we need, we need, and subscribe. We need, we need all the guys who are in Qatar to subscribe. The guys who are working in the homes, the guys who are working in taxis, the guys who are Can you imagine office, getting all this stadiums, information for free? Everyone, kindly subscribe. Yeah, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's meet until the other video. Bye bye. bye.